Give me a high five. Hello everyone. As you can see, our red cock has not returned and the hen has given up on sitting on the eggs. It's a shame. I have had a hen in the past who sat the full 18 days on her own and raised the babies. But unfortunately this hen has decided to give up on her nest. But as you may have seen in the previous video, there was one good egg in the nest and we did move it into a different nest because I thought this might happen and we do want to save that baby. So I'll show you what I've done. For the moment I've moved it down into this nest box. Because I think this set of grizzle eggs are the eggs that are the closest in age to the yellow project eggs. I think the yellow egg might still hatch a day or two early, which is not ideal, but it will be enough to, to save the baby. But what I'm going to do is every day move the baby between this nest and the next nest. Let's move over there. Once the baby is hatched, I'm going to move it daily between the grizzle nest and over here our brown stipper nest, just so that none of the babies are too disadvantaged. We'll have three babies in the nest instead of the usual two, and the yellow baby will be slightly older, which could put the other babies at a bit of a disadvantage, and I want to avoid that. So we are going to jump it between the two nests daily, and hopefully everyone can stay happy that way. The colour of the baby actually helps me keep accurate records. I'll always know which is the baby out of this nest because the grizzles, their babies will all be grizzle. So I'll know if there's a baby that's not a grizzle, it's out of this nest. And I also know that the baby will be a bar pattern and the stiffer pair are both check patterns. So any baby that's a bar pattern and not a grizzle, doesn't matter if it's blue or red, will definitely be the baby out of our yellow project pair. We'll also be able to tell as soon as the egg hatches if it is a dilute hen. So that means if it's a silver hen or a yellow hen. And that is because dilute pigeons hatch with short down instead of the typical long down that you see on a hatchling pigeon. And if I see that, I will be absolutely thrilled. Because out of this egg, there are four different types of pigeons that could hatch. Of course, there's a 50% chance of it being a young hen or a young cock. And then there's a 50% chance of the pigeon getting that elute gene or not, which gives us a 25% chance of hatching out a young dilute hen. And for the future of this project, that is probably the best case scenario. If we get a little dilute hen, I will be so happy. And next year we could pair her back to her grandfather, who was a champion racing pigeon. And then we'll just carry on in the project to try and breed some yellows. It doesn't matter if we get a silver little baby or a yellow. I'll be happy either way. But yeah, I'll be absolutely thrilled if it's a little yellow hen. Stipper or almond babies are also short downed in the nest, but we'll be able to easily tell if our baby is a dilute or a stipper because they, you know, they look completely different. There's no way we'll confuse them. We also have some good news in the Taiku Rizzle box. There is a fresh egg. She must have laid that last night, so it'll be tomorrow when they lay their second egg. But hopefully, this time they're fertile. You might know that we've so far not produced a tiger rizzle, which is surprising and unfortunate. Um, I am actually getting a little bit worried that the cockbird might not be able to fertilize eggs. So I guess this is his last chance. If he is fertile, then there should be a baby in these eggs. So the eggs in this pair, as well as the stipper and grizzle nests, they're due to hatch this week, probably in the next couple of days. So you can see... I've transitioned them onto pellets because I do want them to be raising the babies on pellets rather than grain. And this pair is actually part of my spread recessive opal project, which I haven't given you a recent update on, so let's talk about them now. The spread recessive opal project is the rare coloured racing project that I've had the most uh, progress with so far. We've actually had a few birds in this project that have gone to race. But unfortunately, we haven't produced a spread recessive opal pigeon yet. I'll put up a photo now so you can see the colour that we're aiming to produce. You can see it really is a beautiful colour, and thanks to Michael from California for letting me use this picture. But at the moment, we have two pairs. We have this tea pattern opal cock, paired up to the spread hen who carries recessive opal. And we also have the opal grizzle cock 
paired up to the sister of the hen, another spread hen who carries recessive opal. And these guys have finally laid an egg. They laid it last night, so the same as the Targa Grizzles. So tomorrow night we should get another egg in, and in two and a half weeks there'll be some more babies. Now this grizzle cock and the red cock who we just looked at, they both had long racing careers. I think this is a five-year-old and he raced for th three or four years. And the red cock is four years old and he raced for two years. These two hens, unfortunately, I didn't get to race, but their mother is from the champion Australian pigeon flyer, Graham Davison. And their father is the son of a Sydney Fed winner. So as you can see, this isn't just a colour project, it's a genuine racing project. And I do have a lot of faith in these birds being able to perform. Later in the year, maybe towards the end of this year or sometime next year, I'll bring two more pairs into this project. We'll be bringing in two cockbirds who have raced this year. One of them is the Newcastle Federation winner. And the other one is the son of this guy, the Black Pied, who you've seen in a few videos in the past. And we're going to pair them up to two opal hens, who, yeah, who you have seen. One of them is the mother of the two hens here. And the other one is a little opal bar hen who we had in the breeding project a few months ago, but she's uh, gone back to the other loft for the moment. I'm really looking forward to seeing what comes out of these eggs. So far we haven't produced a spread recessive opal, but oh, with four pairs breeding it surely won't be too long until we have one. And the way the genetics work with the chromosomal crossover, once we've produced one, it'll be a lot easier to start producing a whole line of them. And of course they will be racing and proving themselves and will continue to breed from the best. If you haven't had a look at my other spread recessive apple project videos, I'd recommend it. I'll leave a link to them in the description, maybe at the end of the video as well. This is the project I've had going on for the longest amount of time, so there have been a few updates on this project. It is a really interesting colour. The hens are darker than the cockbirds, which is interesting because it's not a sex-linked gene. There's no sex linkage at play here. So it's unusual that there is some uh, sexual dimorphism. I actually don't know why that is. So maybe it's a topic for some research in the future. My eventual aim for this project is to have these birds flying competitively up to about 500 kilometers. And given the quality of the pigeons we're using in this project, I don't think that's going to be too much to ask. The two cockbirds you've seen today have already flown 500 kilometers themselves. The mother of these black hens was successful up to about 600. And we are only using good quality birds in this racing pigeon project. So I don't think it'll be too long, maybe a year, maybe two. And we'll have some of these beautiful silvery grey spread recessive apple pigeons not only flying but racing competitively up to 500 kilometers and i'm really looking forward to seeing them do that anyway guys that's about all we have to update today by the end of next week we should have a little bit of a baby boom going on here we should have eggs hatching all over the place so i'm looking forward to updating you on that anyway thanks for watching i hope you subscribed and have a good day